Shalom National Jewish Retreat. This is amazing, huh? Simply put, not all criticism of Israeli policies is anti-Semitism. You want to read criticism of Israeli policies? Read Haaretz. Now, some people say, oh, that's anti-Semitic, you know? Uh, so better yet, go to the Knesset. Your Hebrew has to be good. And you have to be willing to listen to people screeching at each other. But, but if you can make it out, you'll hear criticism of Israeli policies. That's not anti-Semitism. How does it become anti-Semitism? First of all, when you have a myopic view that this is the only problem in the world. Now, if you're worried about, it's not that everybody who's concerned with a certain uh, human rights problem has to be worried about all human rights pro- problems to, be, to gain their bona fides. You know, I'm not saying that you know, someone's worried about uh, the treatment of the Muslims in China or the Rohingya in Myanmar, that if they're not concerned about another human rights problem, they're not legitimate. I'm not saying, and one wrong makes all, you know, one right, uh, or lots of wrongs make another wrong, okay. But when you have the singular vision, this myopia, and then by the second sentence you're saying, and of course it has to do with the Jews' power and the Jews' control, etc., you've slipped right into anti-Semitism. Or you've had myopia that all the wrong is only on one side. That, again, you're slipping into anti-Semitism. There are wrongs on both sides, we have to admit it, because Israel and the army are made up of human beings, and human beings do things sometimes of right, something. But when you have this view only... Or, as a critic of Israel said, recent, said to me recently, Israel was born in sin. So I said, what do you mean by that? He said, well, you know, what happened during the 48 war? What he was referring to, of course, there were many Arabs, uh, Palestinian Arabs, uh, who left what became Israel because they were told on the radio by the, or by their imams or whatever, leave, get out of the way so the Arab armies can do their work, and then you'll come back, you'll get their homes, their orchards, their businesses, it'll all be yours. But some were pushed out. We know that. We know that from Israeli documents. Some were pushed out by Jewish fighting forces. There were cases about it. There was investigations. It's, it's, it's a historical fact. So, when he, so that's what he was referring to, the second, not to the first. So I said to him, I said, well, you know, that's an important historical note, but I think we, and, and for that reason you think Israel shouldn't exist. He said, that's right. A country born like that shouldn't exist. I said, okay, so let's think about other countries that have that on their record. Let's start with the United States of America. Not funny, not funny. And our treatment, our treatment of Native Americans and slavery. Right, state, what was states' rights? People say, oh, we were fighting for, I come from the South, South New York, but now I live in Atlanta, (laughs) you know. Um, In case you couldn't tell, this is not an Atlanta accent. Uh, But what were states' rights? The rights to own human beings, to sell human beings, to beat up human beings. Or Australia, I'm going to Australia in 10 days, the treatment of the Aborigines, or New Zealand, the treatment of the Maoris, or England and its colonization policies, or Canada, and its treatment of what is called the First Nation, the indigenous policy. That doesn't make it right. But what I'm saying is if this is the only problem you see, then I have to ask, what is it about? Where is it coming from? The objective of BDS is the toxification of Israel. Make Israel toxic. So the student who would have gone on a proudly announced in the dorm, I'm going on a birthright program, 10 days in Israel, free, great time, it's a wonderful program, now will still go, but might be less inclined to announce it proudly in the halls. You know? That's to make, it's not B and D and S, that's never going to happen. It's the toxification of Israel. If you liked that video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell below for hours of the best Jewish content online.